Okay, there are a lot of ways to colorize black and white artwork, but this is one that I think is a good one for giving a lot of control over the different aspects of the process. First of all, I'm going to start with uh, some artwork, which is this uh, red ink stamp on paper. I'm going to make it black and white. And then I'm going to, I'll merge that down actually, just so that kind of clean things up. Um, I'm going to make a layer, and I'll put, um, oh, I don't know, red in that layer. And I'll make a second layer, and I'll put yellow in that layer. Now, if we hold down the Alt key and go to the eyeball and solo that layer, go to Channels, hold down the Control key, doesn't matter which channel you select because it's black and white artwork so all the channels are the same load that as a selection go back to layers turn that on turn that on ask for a layer mask that's all there is to it if you want to change the polarity of the colors just change the polarity control I change the polarity of the layer mask if you want to change the um, color of any aspect of the artwork after the fact um, it's easy to do. There, I just changed it to blue, and I'll change this to, oh, let's say, doesn't really matter, magenta. Okay, it's kind of psychedelic. Um, and now I'm going to do the same thing with some line artwork. Okay, in the previous example, I colorized some uh, broad line art or black and white line art that um, had complex edges and a lot of subtle grays in between the blacks and the whites. Here it's much more traditional black and white line art with very little in the way of gray in the, in the artwork, but the same process applies. So if we make two layers, one, two, and in the first layer we'll make uh, dark brown. That's going to represent the lines. Actually, I made it the wrong layer from what I intended, but I'm going to press forward. Second layer is uh, light color. That's going to be cream colored paper. Okay. And now we solo this layer. And we go to channels and we say control. Load it as a selection. Go back to layers again. Turn that on. Turn that on. And we call for a layer mask. And you can see that um, because I put the light and dark in the wrong order from what I had intended, um, the artwork is uh, light lines on a dark field, but that's no big deal. You just go to the um, artwork and say Control I. And if you don't want to do that, then you can take this artwork and drag it up above, break this connection, drag this up here, and then reconnect that if you want to. And um, then that keeps the, uh, the layer mask in the original polarity. Um, there's the layer masks original polarity so uh, what's nice about this is that we have two things that we can colorize one is the paper so if we if we paint in the paper layer with say green then we can very easily paint the leaves I'm not going to go into a lot of detail but I'm painting on the paper layer uh, if we paint the um, if we want to go with a, uh, let's say, a yellow color, there's the sun in yellow with maybe some, you know, yellow rays coming out. And then I can go to the line artwork and I can pick a color like red and I can paint there with, um, with uh, red. And so it gives me a lot of control over whether I'm changing the color of the lines or whether I'm changing the color of the paper. And I'm just kind of playing around there. There's paper color. And here is line color. So, um, and then if we want to change the line art itself, you could uh, paint in black and white with a very tiny brush in the 
uh, in the layer mask itself and you'll be painting you'll be adding to the to the lines of course if you flip the colors then you can be subtracting from those lines there I'm kinda eating away I'm working with a very thin brush but I'm eating away at these lines right there these stars are going okay not that you necessarily want to do that but just you have the ability to work in three places the the line art the paper color and the line color 